Welcome back to All the Crackers in the Box. Today we're going to do a little craft with me as I am trying to get this bag together. These two bags, sorry. Glad you're here. Hello, hello. Oh, sorry, that's my bad. I have 32 of these, so I need 16 of each design for each bag. These are my ghosties. This is my last set. I've got eight in the dark blue. However, this is what I got for eight more. So, I pulled out this gorgeous burgundy. I feel it complements this color very much and it's going to go very nicely with our contrast color and added to that it really is not the same. I was really worried it was the same as this but looking at them in this light you can really see that they are not the same. So I have a grand total of one, two, three, four, five, and six left to do the etching on. So let's get started. All right, here we are. I think I got a better view here. This is one of my smaller tripods that just kind of stands up. It has a sticky end on it and it doesn't always like to sit properly, especially here on my bed. But we we're having one of those nights with the kids and I've got three in the bed. So my, both my daughters are very much into having me right with them. They keep waking up to see where I am. Got a nice cup of non-caffeinated strawberry tea. There we go, and we go through. Can't see if I can tail through. I always like to put my tails in as much as possible rather than sewing them in later. I love my gloves. My hands have been really not doing well with this cold weather. I could not bend them about an hour ago. I could not close them due to how cold it has gotten late at night. And that's when I make my videos is late at night. So if I want to get anything done, I need 11 half double crochets. I'm finding that I'm going a little bit faster with the burgundy than I was with the navy blue. I just found this variegated one. The white against the white was really not working for me. It was really blending. Pop that back up there. But it is getting me through some of my older stuff. Three, four, nine, ten, and eleven. Now we'll do our, half, our double crochets, three of them in one stitch, to give us that awesome corner. Three, 
aqui. Now, this is a gorgeous color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I remember a time in the 90s where this hunter green and this royally dark blue were all the rage. Everybody wanted those colors in their house. Super dark. But not edgy, just dark. this sitting where I want it to so I can see it in the viewfinder here and not get too close so remember I'm still learning how to make these vid make videos in the first place that are comfortable and easy to watch and this is also kind of a play it by ear kind of pattern that I've mostly been winging it. I think I've got it down now to where I'm going to be able to put the piece out of the corner right there and then move across the legs which are a little bit not straight but I think I'll work it out when I put the together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh really? Let's just double check here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, oh, that actually worked out exactly where I wanted it to. Beautiful. So I'm not sure what this red is, but this and this just in case. So I have plenty. Then we got this awesome purple. I believe based off of this that it's a red heart, but it's really cushy and soft. So I'm not 100% sure. This one did not come with any paper. Just gorgeous coloring. So we want to put one in between the two double crochets that are in one stitch. These two are in the same stitch. Then the single one on its own. And this is where it gets all weird for the sizing. You want to go down into there. You, me, a dog named McGee, I guess. That split on me pretty bad there. I don't like that. And then one right there. That one's always a little bit tighter than the rest. 
And then we're back up to this one. Into the double. Into the single. Into the one on the side. Our middle one. Finally, the last one there, do a slip stitch, slip stitch into the third one, see how we have one, two, three, so it's a slip stitch right there, and you go one, two, three, Alright. Yeah, so that's how uh, the weather's getting pretty yucky here. Getting quite cold. Quite fast. Not my favorite. Like, I like the idea of cold, but I don't like actually living in it. A little bit weird. Well, no, I won't say weird. I just prefer actual fall and spring. And it's kind of jumped to like January type weather where it's not snowing, but it's cold. For the most part, most of our snow around here comes down in December. That's when we get the bulk of our snow. And it's always nice snow. It falls very pretty and looks amazing. I live in a half rural area here, so and do well. Got one of my Korean dramas on in the background there. Sorry. And there we go. The one I'm watching now is about a virgin ghost. And she's borrowing the body of a girl. And the girl's falling in love with the boss. And the virgin ghost th is thinking that if she uh, has a physical relationship with a guy, she'll be able to move on in peace. But then there's this brother-in-law of the boss who whose wife had had a terrible hit and run accident and is in a wheelchair and the brother-in-law is a police officer yeah all the signs are pointing to him being possessed by an evil spirit and he's doing some pretty awful things i really have a strong suspicion that he actually hit his wife for the car so we'd have an excuse to get close to her she was a promising ballerina, beautiful, talented, super sweet. She's a sweetheart. But yeah, the two girls are sharing the same body and they're both grooving on the same guy, kind of, sort of. And they're completely opposite. So she's looking really super unhinged to everyone around her. Because one day she's all... I'm one of the boys. I'm not like other girls, that kind of thing. And then the next day she's super introverted, not very social, kind of afraid because she's grown up seeing ghosts everywhere she went. 
so she just didn't really like talking to people, kept to herself. It's kind of a fun show. It's not too bad. The ghosts are... The one main ghost is not scary looking. They've only had a couple instances of spookier looking ones. Seeing some of the same actors I've seen in a couple of the other ones I've watched already this month. But I'm finding their stories are quite delightful. And even if they are subtitles, I'm having no problem following what's going on while the crochet, which is the big thing. I also started watching a show called Shelter on Amazon Prime. It's caught my interest. I am super curious what's going on on that one. So far, I've watched the first episode. Um, I knew from seeing the previews it would probably be something I was interested in, so I got my husband and my mother watching it in the living room, and I saw about 20 minutes of it, so I needed to watch the whole episode just to see if it was definitely something I want to watch. And yeah, I'm super interested. It's very mysterious, and I always love a good mystery. I feel it keeps my mind fresh and occupied on something that is not my own life or problems. Oh, as I've been sitting here drinking my tea, I've been also munching on a couple chocolates and I don't do that very often. I just felt the need to have a bit of a sweet treat for once. I'm not a big sweet fan. I like them, but I don't like them. My last pregnancy, I ended up with gestational diabetes. And I couldn't believe how much sugar is in everything. It's really quite shocking. So now I drink tea quite often with no sweeteners at all. Um, I love green tea because I don't need a sweetener. Regular orange pico, though, I've always had sugar and milk, and I struggle to drink it without it. <laughs> I'm still not quite there. My coffee, I still like to have a bit of a sweetener. Yeah, for quite a while there, all I could eat was vegetables, meat, and cheese. Even then, I had to be very careful with the cheese, because some of them can be quite full of carbs and whatnot. So there are days where I don't like meat though and that was a problem too so I'd just be eating vegetables and crying because I can't have my carbs. I love carbs. They're so yummy. So it's one of the main reasons why I'm not rushing out to lose weight and do all that kind of stuff. I'm just trying to let my body figure out how it wants to do things. I'm not going to starve myself and I'm also not going to deprive myself of healthy food. I feel I have a lot of healing to do still. That last pregnancy was really tough. They are not kidding when they say an older pregnancy is tougher. I have no problem bouncing back physically mentally with my son. My second daughter is a bit older, second child. Um, I'm with this youngest one. I've really not had the best time. My sciatic nerves are really messed up. Today I'm not on camera because I'm not feeling too good. My sinuses are driving me crazy, my arthritis is out of control, and I ate some ketchup and then side of meatloaf the other day, and I have been in nothing but absolute agony. I can't digest cooked tomatoes, so spaghetti, lasagna, pizza, all of the good stuff I can't have. I can still eat salsa though. I don't know if it's the spice in it or something. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if it's the mixture of 
cooked tomato and uh, sugar because ketchup has a ton of sugar, but those things just do not do well for me. I really am very, very uncomfortable. But I can eat spicy food, no problem. So I don't know. Just seems to be something about the makeup of it is just not good for me. I also don't do very well with citrus acids either. So, oranges I don't eat too often. My goodness. I'm getting super excited about how this is going to look. I can picture it in my head. So, because I'm going to have to stagger the ghosts for one bag. I've done them exactly half and half, so 16 divided by 2 is going to be 8 and 8. So, 8 ghosts are going to be red. 8 are going to be fantastic and blue. Now I'm just doing a single crochet around the edging because this again turned out to be thinner than this one, multicolored. So to keep them as close to the same size as possible. There we go. And it's looking amazing. I am liking this red. I maybe I should have done the whole thing in the red and one in blue. But, you know, done is done. I'm not undoing anything. And here we go. Almost there at the end of this particular one. Now the ghosts I found were super easy to do. I had no problem getting through them, but I find these squares just to be a little bit time consuming and daunting. I'm not very impressed with it. It could just be something in my head where meh, I just don't want to. But I do want to, so that's super weird. I'm rocking. Almost there at the end. Oh, whoops. Let's be careful here, guys. Thanks for joining me here at All the Crackers in the Box. Stay tuned. We'll get this, this bag done together.